Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Safe, and in this video I'm gonna show you step by step how you can use floor plan creator. I will also provide you with some tricks and tips that can be useful for your creation. So let's get started. First before starting to create anything we need to know the components of floor plan creator. The first component is this right menu in which it contains all the structures and all the elements that you can add to your own design. You can also click on this drop down menu and access on many other features and other elements that can be added. On the left you can find uh, properties that you can through which you can edit the properties of your interface itself. So let's say we added a square room here. It's drag and drop. So here you can see properties on the left. So let's say I want to see this block as a 3D view. I will press on here and I will see the 3D view. I will click once more to return back to the 2D view. I can also share it, I can print it, I can uh, access to the settings, I can see which floor I am at. It will show me that I'm in the ground floor, it's, it's space, it will also show me the dimensions. So basi basically this is how I can control the properties of the interface itself. If I want to control the properties of the block itself, I will just click on it and here I will find additional uh, properties here like delete, clone, mirror, position, rotation, measure and more. I can add any of these to, to uh, my block so that I would control its properties. Now let's delete this and start actually actually um, editing something and creating something. So let's create our apartment for example. Let's um, use I think the L shape is nice so let's use it here it is so what I plan to do is to just um, classify my own apartment I want uh, a room I want a reception I want a kitchen and I want a bathroom so I can um, for example add walls from here so by adding walls I can add a wall here I can also control its dimensions by dragging like that. I can also control its dimensions from here. I can write the precise number I want or I can press on edit and I can also access height and information like this. So I would rather uh, just control it manually from here. Actually, I would like to just decrease its size to this. I want to make a corridor here I will uh, now I will choose this and clone it like this and I will add it here for example I will in just move this a little bit down like that perfect and now I will add another wall sorry I will just undo I will uh, maybe increase this a little, yes, exactly like that. And I will move this upward. Yeah, perfect. I will also increase the space here like that. So here I will just add a corridor here. I will, um, I just want to rotate it, so I will rotate it like that, and I will move it here, so basically this is my own corridor, I will also create another door here, another wall here, So just like that. So basically I want, no, no, I will, maybe I will delete this and this, and I will add a continuous wall instead. So let's just add a wall here and resize it like that. Now, this is what I wanted. This is my kitchen. This is my room and this is the corridor and this is the reception. So now, <laughs> actually I forgot the bathroom. 
So I will just uh, make it a subset of the room itself. So I will um, use the wall here. I will undo this because I think I did something wrong. I will add a wall here. I will rotate it. And like that. So this is basically my bathroom and this is my room. So this is my structure of uh, my apartment. And I would like also to uh, maybe divide this reception into two parts separated by a door or something. So this may be another room or a living room or an extension of the reception. It's It may be anything like that. So this is how you divide your own apartment. Now we need to add some um, doors and some windows. So let's just go to, uh, I think it's here, doors and windows. Now let's add some doors. Here is the apartment door. I will also add a door here, door from here, from the corridor, not from the reception. I will also add a door in here. I will just make it smaller, small door. And I will add another door here. Perfect. I'll just move this a little. Just like that. So perfect. Now I will need to add my windows. So let's add some windows here. I will add just one window at each room. A window here, I can also control its dimensions the same way. I will add another window um, in, the, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in this room, and maybe two in the reception, perfect. Now uh, you have created your own apartment. Now if you want to add any furniture, you can find it in all of the rest. You can find in general here, you can find many things. Like for example, let's add, let's add only one piece of furniture from each section so that we will not uh, consume so much time in this tutorial. For example, let's here add a closet in our room. Here, I will just make it smaller like that. and like that so this is my closet now let's go to living and add maybe a sofa here wow this is huge let's just decrease its size let's make it just only two sections and let's decrease it like that then let's rotate it okay let's keep it here Perfect. Now let's add uh, one thing from the bedroom. Let's add the bed. It will block the door here, so I need to just rotate it like that. And... Place it here. It will not block the window anyway. The window may be above it, so it's okay. Now let's go to the next section, which is the kitchen. Let's add maybe a stove here. Now let's go to the next section in the bathroom. Let's add uh, a toilet. Next section. 
office. It's not that important. I may just place a chair or something, or I can just use. Uh, no, I will not add anything from here. In the outdoor, I may add maybe a big tree here. Electrical, I can add. Camera or something. Here at the front door. Can also add fire survey, annihilation tools, user. I don't think I will add any more things. Now we have created our apartment. Now let's just take a look. So we can go to the 3D view and see how it looks like. So basically this is our apartment that we have just built. Here you got your camera, your door, your windows. You have got your furniture here. So basically you can look at your kitchen, your bathroom, your room. Of course the room is somehow narrow. We will need to increase its size. And here is the tree. So this is basically how perfect it looks like. This brings us to the end of our tutorial today. If you liked this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel for more valuable tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.